Okay, so on that, um, something a bit different. Um, what I'm going to do now is be doing the London's finest um, Catacomb Cup. Uh, it should be seven rounds, and I'm going to live commentate on my games. Uh, or I'm going to try to anyway. It might be a disaster. Um, just to sort of, um, yes, you know, so I can go through my process of, of why I'm making the decisions I'm making um, as and when I'm making them rather than looking back. So, um, something a bit different, but hopefully it goes well. But let's see. Okay, so first round, um, he's got that uh, Vespi Quincy de Rudeo Venusaur Ice type core. Um, No frost, uh, no Lapras, which is interesting. Um, so if I can get Venusaur in um, as a safe switch, that works nicely. Because Frostlass can't switch into it. So I want to lead something that beats Frostlass. Um, Lapras lead looks quite nice. Lapras is weak to Sudorudo. Venusaur's weak to Vespiquen. Need something that breaks them both. Uh, so I'll go for loss in the middle. So let's try that. Okay. So quite okay staying in this lead. Um, I, I, if I go straight Skull Bash, I'll win the zero shields or the two shields. Uh, so as long as I don't double shield, that'll be fine. Um, I'm more inclined to stick to the zero shields. Uh, just because the things I've got in the back are fairly fairly classy, so I kind of want to save shields for them both. So I'm going to go for the zero shields and go straight Skull Bash. Um, and then if he does choose to shield any of these, I'll be coming out with a shield advantage. Um, so yeah, he does. Now I've got the defense boost. So these will be doing less. So hopefully I can get to another skull dash. Okay, I'm not going to shield. Um, I'm probably best going for two saves here. No, I might just get the other shield out of him. Let's hope I can get another surf through. No, so that was a mistake. I should have gone for the Skull Bash. Um, got the extra damage, but oh well. Oh, but it doesn't kill, so I get the surf. So he's, uh, he's seen that he's um, got the CMP tie, so he's undercharged that. Uh, just so he can farm me down a little bit. So yeah, he's getting a couple of extra snails in. Uh, but I can do the same. I can get a few fine whips in with Venusaur. I know he's got nothing that he really wants to switch into Venusaur and I've got a two fine whip advantage. So yeah, he's got the mirror. Um, I don't like baiting in the mirror unless I really have to. Um, the difference between Frenzy Plant and Sludge Bomb is only five energy. So I, I choose to switch to Frostlass there because um, the fact that he brought Venus or into the uh, mirror means that it suggests to me that he's, it, whatever he had in the back was weak to Venusaur, so I wanted to keep Venusaur alive rather than taking a Sludge Bomb with it. And I was right because he's got Sudorudo. Go for the Avalanche there for the bigger damage. Um, happy to let Frostlass go down. And saving both shields for the Venusaur. Um, so now I can get a bit of energy on this. Yeah. I'm really, I only need one move to kill him, so um, Frenzy Plant's fine here. Yeah. 
that's the uh, that's game one over. I wasn't sure whether a friends of plant would have killed him from there. Probably would have, but I felt like I had enough time to to go for the um, go for the sludge bomb to be cer be certain. So uh, did that just to be safe. Game two. Um, I'm going to switch it round this time. I'm going to put the Venusaur in, in the lead um, and the Lapras as the safe swap. Um, because the Lapras lead gave him a bit of trouble last time, so maybe he leads Sudo Udo. Um, I don't know. Worst case scenario is he leads Vespiquen. Um, now, Venusaur actually beats Vespiquen into zero shields, so what I might do in that scenario is stay in and go to a Sludge Bomb. Um, or stay up and farm a little bit and then switch to Lapras as a sack swap, uh, knowing that he'll counter switch to Lapras. Uh, I've got Frostlass in the back and Venusaur, which can both take Vespiquen on if they have to, so I don't necessarily have to beat Vespiquen with Lapras, so I can almost use it as a sack uh, more than anything else if I need to. Okay, so there's the Venusaur lead. Um, he leads Umbreon again. Uh, I'm not quite so sure how this matchup plays out. Um, so I'm just going to save my shields uh, for Frostlass in this instance because um, the only thing that Frostlass really doesn't want to take on, on the opponent's team is, uh, is Umbreon. So as long as I can um, save shields for Frostlass, it should be in a good position. Um, Sableye isn't great either, but um, Umbreon is far worse. I think I win the zeros if uh, if I remember rightly. It certainly looks that way. Um, and if I don't, I'll be able to ice shard it down with Lapras, which is good. So again, no shields. Um... He's choosing not to shield as well. Oh, and I just managed to faint it down. So he comes in with his own Venusaur and I can get the Sludge Bomb. Now can I make another Frenzy Plant? No, not quite. Um, so he's got a lot of energy now. Um, so I'm going to choose to go to Lapras here. Um, so I'll have to double shield regardless of what I went into. Um, I've chosen Lapras over Frostlass because the Ice Shards do more damage than the Powder Snow, so I'll be able to farm uh, farm down. So I can have to shield. Oh, but it doesn't quite get to the second Frenzy plan. Sudo Udo, so I'm able to double surf this. Um, and again, I, uh, I won't be shielding. I'll want to save the shield for um, for Frostlass in the back. Now maybe I should have gone straight into Frostlass there. It's uh, been building up the energy, but it's fine because he doesn't farm me down. So again, in with Frostlass. And I'll be able to hit a uh, hit an avalanche before he so I block this rock slide because it will kill me. Um, so I should be able to hit an avalanche before he gets the uh, the next rock slide. Yep. So this should kill. Frostlass hits really hard. Avalanche is a really good move. Um, yeah. There we go. So that's game two. And game three, um, I'll just go back to the the formula from the first game with the Lapras lead. Um, just keep mixing it up, but not unnecessarily so. Um, 
it's always nice to win all three if you can. It helps the ranking uh, ranking system, and certainly when uh, you're sort of higher up in the in the rankings, um, every little win counts. The margins are really fine, uh, so it's worth having every win if you can get one. If you can get them. Yeah, we see the lead umbra again, so I'm just going to do the same thing as I did in game one. Uh, straight skull bash and no shields. Well, that's not what I did in game one, but I will do it this time. I'll not be going for the silly surfs. So no shields, because I don't want a double shield. Um, even though that's a winning matchup, I need to save those shields for the uh, frail things I've put in the back. And I don't want a one shield, because I'll lose. Um, so that leaves my option as the zero shield. Uh, blocked skull bash. Uh, even though that's blocked, that's not the end of the world because the defense uh, boost means I can tank these moves a bit a bit better and it'll allow me to get to the second skull bash, which I wouldn't have been able to get to uh, without the defense boost. So yeah, now I can, now I can tank this one. Oh, switch. Oh, I don't quite get there. It's a pain. Good, really good play on my opponent's part, so straight in with Frost Lass. I'll have to shield the Frenzy Plants because they hit silly hard, but um, I've got the shield advantage, so it's not a massive issue. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a shame. I was trying to time the switch into v from Venusaur into the. Um, Trying to time the switch into uh, to catch a frenzy plant with Venus, but it's it's not worked. And I don't shield there because I know he's got more energy than me, so we can probably reach two anyway. Uh, I go for the frenzy plant just to make sure I get something off, trying to get that last shield. Um, didn't want to waste another vine, you know. If I got another vine whipping, that might have made the difference. But as it turns out, that was the wrong play. Um, I'm going to shield this. And try and uh, try and farm him down. Yeah, it was going to be tough to rely on Frostlass here because because he had him run in the back. Uh, I need to be able to get to another frenzy plant here because the avalanche isn't going to kill. Um, so I think I think uh, I think he's got this game. I'm just going to try and sneak in a few more fast moves. Go for the avalanche now. I need this to kill, but I don't think it will. No, nowhere near. And then I'll die to this uh, this dark balls. No, I don't die to the dark balls. No way I'll be able to take anything on with, with the remaining health I've got left. So yeah, a good adjustment from my opponent to uh, to catch the switch into um, into the uh, Sudo in the back with full health, never uh, never an issue. So yeah, a good, good adjustment from my opponent there to uh, switch the Venusaur into the Lapras. Uh, and then probably a bit of a mistake on my part to try and switch Venusaur into um, well, yeah, definitely a mistake to try and switch Venusaur into um, the mirror. So I, uh, I knew I should have kept that around for, for Umbreon, so there we go. Okay, so another Vespiquen team in round two, so I'm happy to use uh, Venusaur as the save swap again. Um, because I can beat Vespiquen in zeros, so I'll be able to take an advantage from that match, even if Vespiquen counter switches. Um, so again, I want a lead that's going to beat, um, beat Frostlass. So my options are sort of Lapras or... Well, this, this is difficult because my, my options are Lapras and Rhyperia. But I don't like bringing them against Razor Leaf teams. Uh, and I know I want to bring um, Beedrill in the back because Venusaur will uh, sort of draw the Vespiquen out. Um, so let's put Beedrill in the back for first. 
to begin with. So now I know the thing I lead with has got to beat Vespi Quinn because neither neither beat with all Venus or do really. Um, not great against Lapras either. So I'm going to lead Rhyperia. Um, and then if I um, if I don't bump into the Vespiquen lead, um, I'll probably just have to switch out straight away. But let's see how it goes. Some people, uh, some people see Rhyperia, Rhyperia, see Rhyperia and panic. Um, well, this is an interesting one. I win the zero shield scenario against Umbreon. Um, just because of superpower being so great. However, uh, I know I need to save Rhyperia for the Vespiquen. So I'm not going to complete this match. I'm just going to tank the foul play, save some energy, uh, and then go to the Frenzy Plan, then go to the Venusaur. It's always worth saving a bit of energy on Rhyperia just because, um, just because Rock Wrecker is so good. Like nothing on his team wants to take a Rock Wrecker. Um, there's about 80% of Venusaur. So the fact that he switched Lapras into Venusaur makes me think he's not got an Espiquen. Um, so I'm not going to get much use out of Rhyperia this game unless uh, I use it to smack down the Lapras. So I'm not going to shield the Venusaur. Um, just because I want to force him to shield, but uh, I don't want to kill him because I want to be able to smack down, smack him down with Rhyperia. Oh shit! So I misclicked there. Um, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. Um, I've got to shield this really. Probably got back to back surfs, but I managed to get to the X scissors, so that's good. This should kill him, I think. No. Oh, that's annoying. I was hoping I'd be able to get a smack down on him uh, before he was able to get to the surf. But again, I'm close to a rock wrecker here. So he brings in the gloom, which is doing a load of damage. But this is going to hurt him hard. Um, yeah, look at that. That's mad. Um, now Beedrill can come in and farm. There's Razor Lucy doing nothing. So he's got Lapras in the back with little to zero health. An Umbreon that's been chunked, but... <laughs> yeah, that misclick might have... Might have been my undoing there. Yeah, I'm not going to finish... Uh, not going to finish him off here. The Exorcist just don't do enough damage. hoping to get two back to back so we couldn't sneak any snarls in but I don't think I'm going to get them no yeah, not quite so yeah lose, lose game one um, but we learned that he didn't like he didn't fancy Vespiquen there um, but now I've revealed Venusaur and Beedrill he might adjust to bring Vespiquen this time. Um, interesting, we didn't see double grass from him. But I really like Frostlass against him. Uh, and I really like Beedrill against him. Um, so he might lead a grass this time to uh, having, having seen the Rhyperia lead. Um, he, he led Umbreon last game, so he might stick to the same line, uh, knowing that he won. So, in response to that, I'm going to lead Beedrill this game to cover the grass lead and the Umbreon staying the same. Worst case scenario is uh, he leads Frostlass or Vespiquen or, or Lapras. So, uh, having Rhyperia to switch in would be good, but then I could be, I'd be counter switched by a grass, so I can't switch Rhyperia in. Uh, so, Lapras would be the, the best switching. Um, couldn't switch that into Lapras, but I'd have to play out the uh, the Beedrill Lapras game if he leads Lapras. Um, so my last pick needs to cover needs to cover Lapras, uh, and 
that needs to cover. Yeah, I'm gonna put Venus around the back. Um, just because it covers most things quite nicely. Um, and if it comes down to the end and I'm in zero shields, uh, Venus Law will be able to cover the best big one. So let's try that. So he leads the Lepris, so this isn't great. So I might try and time my switch. Um, he gets a bit of lag. I'm going to try and time the switch into Lapras to try and catch a surf, but he doesn't um, doesn't get caught there. Not going to shield because um, I know Skullbash is going to do a lot of damage, but I'm just opening the door for him to switch out if he does. So he comes into Venusaur. I get to the Skullbash before he gets the Frenzy Plant. That's huge. just going to try and bind with me. Yeah, oh, no, he, yeah, good call. He goes for the Frenzy Plant just to make sure I don't get to another Surf. Um, now I can come back in with Beedrill and Farm. Uh, he'll go for a Sludge Bomb and he might do 35-40% damage. Um, so as long as I don't take two, I'll be okay. So I'll farm a little bit longer. Go for the Exorcist before he gets to another one. Saving both my shields for Venusaur here. But if he's oh, so he goes into one room. That's interesting. So I don't want Frostlass to be caught against Umbreon. Oh, oh it's not Frostlass. I've got in the back. It's Venusaur. That's fine. So I just want to keep going for these. Um, Exorcist to chip away and try and force that last shield. And my shield here just to try and get another one out of him. Yeah, I'm going to shield. I've got low health, but I'm close to the next one. Um, so I might be able to get the shield back off him in return, but he pulls a really good switch into Lapras. I go into Venusaur. I'm going to try and get up to two Frenzy Plants here. Or close to it. Oh, yeah, so close enough. I didn't want to risk him going for a Skull Bash. So he really has to shield this, I think. Oh, no, okay. But because I've got those extra... Um, those extra Vine Whips in against the Lapras, I can beat him to the charge move. So, yeah, he'll shield this one for sure. I'm going to let it through. I'll try and get to the Frenzy Plant before the next one. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, I saved the shield there just in case he had the... Um, the foul play built up for Beedrill. Yeah, and I just about get to it. Whew. So I'm able to take game two. So in third, so he's used. He's used the Umbreon both times. He didn't, he, he used Gloom uh, Game 1 and Venusaur Game 2. And I can't remember what else he used. But he's not running double grass, which is interesting. Um, now, based on that and how good. How good Rhyperior is against Frostless, Lapras, and Vespiquem. This game, I'm going to run double rock. And a bit of a risky strategy. Um, 
but I, I think if I'm thinking he's not going to bring double grass, I think it could pay off. So ideally here, I want to catch his grass out with the lead. Uh, so I'll go, uh, I'll lead B drill. And then, so if I lead any, so if, you lead in, if I lead into Umbreon, a B drill versus Umbreon, you might, you might suggest that that's a good matchup for me. So I might, you might expect me to stay in. Um, but I have to save Beedrill for the grass type. So unless I lead into Gloom or Venusaur, I'll be switching out into um, Sudorudo to try and bait out the grass, but I'm lucky. Um, and I lead into Gloom. So he goes into when we're on here, so I'll counter switch to Sudorudo. Um, so the key thing here for me is winning, keeping switch advantage. So if I need to double shield to do that, I will. But um, I'd rather not, because Rhyperia is better with a shield, um, generally speaking, or two. So from here on out, I'm going to match his shields. So he shields that, so I'll shield the next I'll shield the next foul play that comes in. So yeah, shield this one. I'm mixing up when I'm throwing my um, charge moves. I'm not always throwing them uh, as soon as they become available. Um, I'm doing that. Um, oh, don't want to farm it. I don't want to shield this. If I do, he just comes in and farms me with Razor Leaf. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm mixing up my shields because... I'm mixing up when I'm throwing the charge moves because um, I don't want to become too predictable. He might try Sack Swap. Um, Straight back in with Beedrill. Um, I didn't, I didn't switch there because um, there was so little health left on the Pseudo Widow. I valued keeping the ability to switch if I needed to over the um, over that little bit of health on Pseudo Widow. Um, so I'm just going to farm him down. Don't need to shield this. I think it'd be a Petal Blizzard or a Moon Blast. Either way, I'm not doing a great deal of damage. Sludge Bomb, yeah, fine. So I should be able to just farm him and then throw a lot of moves, a lot of exorcists at the next thing. I see it's Frostlass. So yeah, I saw the Ice Ghost pop up, so I knew that was Frostlass, so I know to go for the uh, Drill Run instead. And he shields that, so that's great. So now I can go straight to my Rhyperia. Farm down the Umbreon, perfect. And then Rock Wrecker. Done. Brilliant. So yeah, I called it right. It wasn't going to play the double grass, so I was able to able to get that right. It would have been interesting had I not caught the gloom lead with Beedrill. Um What, so let, let's say he led um, Frostlass. Well, Frostlass would have been a disastrous, actually. I'd have just lost there and then. Um, but Frostlass tends to be better with a, as a switch. So let's say he'd have led Lapras. Um, I could have gone to Sudowoodo. Um, as the counter, he'd have then brought Gloom in. I'd have lost the Sudowoodo. I'd have farmed the, uh, the Gloom back down with Beedrill. I'm not using any shields at this point. So I think come out with a load of energy on Beedrill to throw at the next thing and two shields with Rhyperia. So that's the, the general plan there, but who knows whether it would have worked. Okay, so after a very long break between round two and round three, um, in fact, with round three, again, he's got Vespiquen, so I really like Venusaur as a safe switch. Um, but I also really like, really like Double Rock here as well. Um, I like Frostlass, um, so I'm going to play. I'm going to I'm going to play a slightly riskier round one with the double rock. Um, the only thing, so Rhyperia will beat everything on his team in in the zeros or the twos, um, except Venusaur. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and well the same as in the last game. I'm going to try and catch the Venusaur lead with the bead drill. Um, and if I don't catch it, I'm going to switch out immediately and try and draw it out with a pseudo -Budo. 
and then try and sweep with Rhyperia in the back. So let's try that. Then I'll probably play a bit safer next game. Or no, we'll see. Depends how this one goes. Played this guy a couple of times before. Um, a London local, really good player. I think we're one one if I remember rightly. Oh, this is disastrous. So I need to I need to land the drill run. Um, I'll go for it straight away the first time. Um, because he doesn't kill, so I'm not expecting him to shield. Um, I'm going to try and switch out between these. Oh, he does shield it. Okay. I managed to switch between CMP there. Um, not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, but hopefully I can get another rock slide here. I can get a rock slide. Can I? Yes. So whether he was going for the farm down or whether that was a CMP loss, I don't know. But that, I feel like that's going to have to force out the, the second shield, yeah. Yeah, so um, he must have been going for the farm down. So I'm letting the switch timer, uh, letting the, the timer go down, so I can get my switch timer back up in case I need it. Um, go back to B drill here. I have to shield the rock slide. I go for the X's there because I don't want to have to use my second shield. Um, blocking the next rock slide. Rather, I could have farmed him down and shielded, but. Um, didn't want to risk it. So he goes to Vespiquem. I go to Rhyperior and start smacking him down. Um, I probably should have gone for the superpower there. So the important thing here yeah, is that I fire the superpower as late as I can or the rock wrecker as late as I can before he gets to another surf. So I do it there, then I think that was four, but... Um... Uh, so now after the superpower, my attack's gonna be nerfed a little bit, but I should be able to get to the rock wrecker. Yes, the red period pulling through. Whoa, what a game. So I'm fully expecting him to bring Venus all this game now after seeing my double rock. Um, but not as a lead because he's seen my uh, Beedrill in the lead. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to bring Beedrill as a counter switch and um, I still want to lead something that stops him that stops the Venusaur lead um, if I'm catching the Venus if I'm bringing the Beedrill. So I'll uh, bring Venusaur as a lead because if I get a, 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 the mirror in the lead, that's not the end of the world. Um, really weak to Vespiquen with this pair. So either, well, any of the other four really will do a job. Uh, but Beedrill will also struggle against the rocks. And. Lapras. So I'll put Sudowoodo in the back, I think. That seems to me makes sense. Oh, I'm shaking after that last game. That was, uh, was a lot of fun. Just one of the things I love about Red Gary is its, it's charge moves are so devastating and SmackDown does so much damage. And it walls the living daylight out of Alolan Graveler as well. Uh, so I'm not expecting to see that now. Um, now I've shown I'm not scared to use the Rhyperia. It's, you know, it's not just there for bench pressure. Um, I mean, I'm not expecting to see the Alolan Graveler. Not that it would be a problem for this line because all three of the things beat it. Um, well, Venusaur and, and Sudowoodo beat it, but if Beedrill has a bit of an energy advantage, that drill, that drill run will KO uh, an Alolan Graveler. My Venusaur lead into the Graveler. Interesting. So he switches to Lapras. 
So I'm going to go for a Frenzy Plant first to burn a shield. And then go into the Pseudo Budo. Quite happy not to shield. I'm going to let a few ice shards through here first, um, just so I'm at less health to be farmed down by the next thing. If he does, if he does elect to uh, to let this through, which I'm expecting. Oh no, okay. Oh, I'm not quite there. So I don't think he's anywhere near a skull bash. Um, so I'm going to go in with Venus or to tank the surf. Yeah. If he's got Vespiquen as, as his last, it's a problem for me. Um, yeah, he has. Okay, so I need to get some sludge bombs on this. Try and catch an X scissor there. Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't kill me. Um, so now I can get the drill run, and that should Oko in, or very very close to it. Yeah, that's what we like to see. And can I get an X scissor off? No. Um, I'm going to shield because I might not get to another sludge bomb with Venusaur. So I want to make sure I get the X scissor and a few more poison jabs because that might just do the, the damage I need it to. So yeah, a couple of poison jabs here will finish. Yeah, there we go. So that's 2 0. So they had there, he brought a team that they were all weak to Rhyperia. So uh, despite seeing it in the first game, so he, I, I really don't think he sees it as a threat. So I'm going to lead Rhyperia. Um, I wouldn't want to see a Sudowoodo or Venusaur lead. So I will bring Frostlass as a counter switch. Um, I make sure I switch fast if I switch into a Venus, if I'm switching into a Venus orb, but that's fine in the lead because I've got the time. Um, and then I want Beedrill in the back just to hard counter a Venus or as I switch in um, later on in the game potentially. So let's try that. Yeah, really pleased with that last game um, and saving the shield for. Um, for the B drill was crucial, um, knowing that it could get the, the drill run off on Graveler if it absolutely needed to. I think he might have, it might have been a mistake on his part actually to, um, to switch the Graveler in. But um, yeah, the Graveler wasn't doing much against Venus or anyway, I guess. So Rhyperia into Graveler, this is really nice because I resist everything that it can do, so I'm expecting him to switch, otherwise I can farm him down and gain a load of energy. Oh, he's staying in. This is really good for me. He's staying in. Look at that energy. If he wants to go for a Stone Edge, that'll do about 50% because my period is so squishy. But he only goes for a Rock Blast. This will be another Rock Blast. So it suggests to me that the fact that he's not switching means he's probably only got one counter in the back. Now I'm going to shield this one. 
and then throw two rock wreckers at the next thing because that's not nothing's going to want that. People say SmackDown charges slowly, and yeah, it does, but when it's farmable like this. So I'm going to go straight to Frost last year to maintain the switch advantage. After Shield, really. Hopefully he doesn't switch between CMP. I know, I don't get it off, that's fine. Um, so I get a few more personas in there. I should have gone for a few more, really. That was a bit of a mistake, because if he lets this through, no, he doesn't, so that's fine. Um, can I get to the next avalanche? No, not quite. Well, that's fine, because I've got Beedrill in the back to farm him down. So, okay, I'm going to let the, uh, the switch the time run down, so, um, so I can switch out if I need to. So I know I'm really close to the next rock wrecker on Rhyperia, but I don't want to let him vine with me down while I'm trying to get to it. And that's great. So I was able to switch because I waited out the switch timer. And then Rock Wrecker will kill Vespi Gwen about four times over. <laughs> um, and then able to land one Smackdown. And one next is it, and that's a comfortable win in the end. Rhyperia just being so oppressive. Um, just playing smart not to let my opponent back in. Okay, so after another very long wait, uh, back again. Uh, similar team to what I've been seeing. Um, I really like the Venusaur save switch. Um, you got to stop the Frost last. And Vespi Quen um, from lead, as leads, so like the Lapras lead. Um, and looking weak to looking a bit weak to Ivysaur and Sudowudo. Um, so stick Frostless in the middle, seems reasonable. Oh, he's got the. Uh, Season 2 rank 10 GBL stance pose thing. Oh, we get a mirror lead. It's always difficult to know what to do in a mirror. I think I don't like switching out of mirrors. Um, if in doubt, stay in. And, you know, give your opponent a chance to make a mistake. I like going straight skull bash in the mirror. Um, just because going for a surf is just really high risk. Um, so again, yeah, I go for the skull bash and then let it through. Um, straight skull bashes from me as well. Now I know he wins CMP this time, so if I had a rock type in the back, I might try and switch to catch a skull bash. But that's not the case. Uh, now I will shield this one. Oh well. Might be. No, I was thinking he knew I might. He knew I needed to shield that, so he might surf. But um, yeah, it was going to be a, always going to be a tough position for me in this this one. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight for the farm down. Uh, that feels like a surf. So I'm going to tank it, and I'm just going to just pray, absolutely just pray that I can come back through um, with Frostlass in the end. I bottle it there, he's going to get to another surf, so I throw, and then I can throw at the next thing as well. I'm brilliant. Oh, well, this is, this is game over because I've got Frostless in the back of an SCM. Um, Unless I can get another frenzy plan. No. Yeah, it's game over. 
So I'm just going to let it through, speed things up. So yeah, losing the Lapras mirror was uh, crucial there. Took away any chance I had of, of winning that game. It was a pain. Didn't even see his third, uh, his third pick. Um, so I'm expecting him to expect me to adjust heavily now. If I was him, I'd be expecting me to bring Suda Wudo here. Um, in which case, or, or Iperia, just to deal with, you know, certainly Suda Wudo or Venusaur to deal with. Um, to deal with his, you know, Lapras and, and Umbreon. So, with that in mind, I'm going to lead um, Beedrill, hoping that he might pick Ivysaur as a lead. Uh, Beedrill versus. Ivysaur is fine, Umbreon is fine, Lapras is okay-ish. Uh, if he does lead Lapras, uh, that clears the way for my own Lapras later on. Um, or, or Frostlass later on, but he's, he's, shown, he's shown Umbreon straight away, so I'm sort of hesitant to bring Frostlass. Um, and I like, you know, I like the Venusaur safe switch, so I'll just do the same. So this is a decent lead. I think I win the two shield scenario, but not the others. So I will double shield here to maintain switch advantage, which is important in this cup. Certainly off the back of something like Sorceress, where shield advantage was far less important. I'm finding this cup really, really annoying. Um, I'm not going to shield. Um, I'll start shielding the next one, just in case I'm uh, wrong and remembering the sims. I'm going to switch, oh, I'm going to try and switch because I need to keep this fairly healthy for a Venusaur, potential, a bit, or an Ivysaur, sorry, in the back. Uh, but now that switch didn't go through, I'm just going to stay in. Couldn't risk the farm down there because he was probably out of the foul play. Maybe a mistake. Maybe I should have gone for the farm down and then farmed him with something else. Yeah, definitely a mistake because now he can double shield versus my Venusaur and that's um, that's game. Yes, I've lost this. Well, I've been quite lucky up to now in this tournament, so. Probably due a loss, to be honest. Um, straight into Lapras. Um, <sighs> shield. Yeah, he's in such a strong position, there's no way he was going to bait there. Um, I've got to try and do something to change the game, so I'm going to try for the bait. Yep. Now my only chance is to go for the double bait try and burn that last shield so whatever Venusaur ends up against has a chance. He lets it through, he sees right through me. For some reason it certainly didn't go through and I ended up doing another ice shard there. But that's okay. And again.
Okay. Ah, he, he saw, saw right through. Ah, it's a purified one, so it might have return, which is going to hit very hard. Again, I've just got to take every risk I can to try and get back into this, so I'm going to go for the bait. And he sees through it. Yep, silly play. So return's going to do about 70% here, I guess. Whoa, even more, yeah. Maybe I can get to um, another frenzy plant. No. So if I'd have sludge bombed first, He'd have been a bit lower, so I might have been able to ice shot it now. I'm far too low health on Lapras. So yeah, that's round two gone. So he likes his Lapras. Um, so I'm going to bring Shudawudo and Venusaur safe switch. Um, Oh, fuck it, we'll go Beedrill. I don't really care at this point. So this is a good lead unless he, unless he shields twice. the first I quite like the idea of saving this in case he's brought Frostless in the back so I'm going to try and catch a surf but I'm well let's see Good. Can I farm him? Isn't that maybe how he goes out? So I'm not going to make the same mistakes this time. Straight for the sludge bombs. And I, I will have Beedrill. I've got Beedrill in the back to, um, to deal with this if I need it. If, um, but I'm expecting him to get to a return first. Yeah. Don't need to let it through. I don't need to block it because I can go to Beedrill. Oh, it's a power whip. So I can farm up a little bit longer here. Back for the sludge bomb again. Sudo Wudu in the back is going to be great here. So I know he's got Lapras, so I need to save um, the, the, the stick for Lapras, so um, go into that, use the shield, and then hopefully I'll have enough, I'll be able to, between uh, throwing a rock slide at the at the Umbreon, so I'll farm this down, uh, and then between a rock slide on the Umbreon and Beedrill, I'll be able to kill the Umbreon, uh, yeah, I'll be able to kill the Umbreon. So he's got a charge move ready, so I'm going to switch now to try and catch that. Because I know I'm close to another rock slide. One counter away, in fact. And then just hoping the X's will stack up. So, yeah. so then I'll be able to come back in with Sudo Woodhill. 
And uh, just kill it with a couple of counters. So I'm able to get one game by the looks of things. Yeah, so it's not a disaster. Just uh, really unlucky in that first one. And then, um, I've forgotten what happened in the second one, but I don't think I played very well. I think I switched where I probably shouldn't have, trying to be a bit clever, which has been my own doing in this tournament throughout, really, trying to be a bit too clever. Um, okay, um, round five. Truffle Rock. But um, when, you, when I see opponents with Double Rock, I don't expect the other than Graveler because, purely because I've got Red Period. Um, again, they've got Vesper Quen rather than, be, uh, than Beedrill, so I like Venusaur. Um, Venusaur lead looks, ni looks nice here. Um, I do like Red Period um, because it has um, wins against. Traveller, Vespiquen and Frostlass. It also picks up Pseudo Udo and Umbreon in the zeros. Um, so I quite like um, quite like Rhyperia late game. And then I always like Lapras save switch with the Venusaur lead. So I need to take out Venusaur with Venusaur here. Um, or double shield my Lapras. So that's something I'm going to bear in mind. So Umbreon lead, so I'm going to go straight to Lapras. And go for the uh, go for the Skull Bash. Try and win the zeros. Uh, he hasn't switched Sudowoodo in yet, which is good. Uh, so that suggests suggests to me that he probably hasn't got Sudowoodo in the back, which is good for Rapiria. And I've drawn in his Venusaur, which is excellent for my Rapiria. Oh, but he gets the Frenzy Plant. Um, I'll shield that just to force a shield back in return. And the defense boost is going to make me very hard for him to farm down. So yeah, he blocks that as expected. Um, hopefully I can get another surf. Yeah. He has to shield this, I think. No, oh, great play, great call. Um, so I'm going to go into Venusaur and farm. Three Vine Whips, which is great. Sort of more than halfway to a Frenzy Plant. In comes the Umbreon. He's not got Vespiquen in the back. I think he's got Frostlass in the back. So I want to save my shield for Rhyperia to beat Frostlass in the one shield. Um, it struggles in the zeros because of Avalanche doing so much damage. I think he's got Frostlass in the back here. So you wouldn't you wouldn't bring that into Venusaur at an energy disadvantage. Um, And this is perfect because now I can uh, not shield the Venusaur and take the shield advantage into uh, with Rhyperia into the last match and beat whatever he has left. Oh, it's annoying that I didn't get the Frenzy Plant there. Um, but again, not on a shield. I'm going to farm this down with, um, with Smackdowns and then I can take on anything else. I'm going to shield just in case it is Sudowoodo in the back. It is. So what I want to do here is throw a superpower just before he gets to um, the stone edge, uh, the rock slide, sorry. Because I don't want to weaken my um, fast moves and my defenses. So I'm able to throw the superpower to kill and then another one to kill the Umbreon. My period coming in clutch again.
Okay, so we saw that um, they brought Venusaur, Sudowoodo, and Umbreon. Um, it was a you know it was a close game, so I'm not expecting anything drastic. So I'm going to lead Frost last to try and catch either Venusaur or Sudowoodo. Um, I have my Sudowoodo safe switch, um, as he could he could. Um, he'll switch Venusaur into it, but I might be able to get enough energy to get to a rock slide first, which, which Venusaur won't enjoy taking. And then Venusaur in the back, which is fantastic with shield down, so let's try that. So seeing how, um, again, he's seen that I'm not afraid to use Rhyperia, so he's got to really worry about it now, I think. Uh, so I'm really not expecting the Alolan Graveler um, or the Vespiquen. Um, I mean, maybe the Vespiquen because otherwise Venusaur is difficult for him to beat. So let's see. Mirror. Um, this is interesting. I have a really good IV Frostlass, so I'm going to lose CMP here. But he doesn't know that, so I'm going to go for a bait. I tapped it just before he did, so he, for all he knows, this is probably a shadow ball. So yeah, he has to shield. Fantastic. Um, I'll shield in case it's a shadow ball. <laughs> but it's not. Okay, so it'll it'd be scary for him to go for two. Oh, but I've got nothing to switch in. I get there first again, so that's fine. He blocks it. No, I'm going to let this through. Um, yeah, because... Oh, wow! Yeah, there we go. So this is great. Yeah, because with the way the game's working at the minute, you don't always know that you've not lost a fast move. So I didn't want to go into the zero shields uh, and lose um, lose on CMP there. So I'm now able to go to Sudowoodo and build up to a rock slide and, and a half. So I didn't go for it there because I knew I'd have lost to CMP. Or I thought we'd, I thought we'd be clicking at the same time. Um, and I didn't want to lose CMP. So this way, uh, I can go for a few more counters and get close to the next rock slide. I've got Venusaur in the shields down in the in the back now, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to go for the rock slide. And I'm going to let him get one more vine whip through. And then switch to Venusaur to hopefully, my own Venusaur to hopefully try and catch a sludge bomb. Oh, it wasn't. Mm, that's so annoying. I was trying to switch and it wasn't letting me. That's really annoying. Okay, so here, a sludge bomb from him isn't going to kill me. So there's no real rush for me to go to the Frenzy Plant. Um, so I'm going to over farm again. I just hope he's not got Vespiquen in the back. It looks like he hasn't, otherwise he'd be swapping in. So I'm able to farm up and go for a, uh, a Frenzy Plant. And I'm just praying here that he's got Sudorudo or Graveler in the back. Oh, but it's Vespiquen, damn it. So it's game. Just going for the Sludge Barn just because. So we saw Frostlass, Vespiquen, and uh, Venusaur there. So again, that would have been a really nice game for me to bring Rhyperia into. Um, 
I'm going to go back to what I did in the first game. Venus or lead, Reg here in the back, and Lapras safe swap. Again, just got to be cautious of, of the opposing Venusaur here. The worst thing that could possibly happen here is a Vespiquen lead. Um, both my th Well, I guess not. Might be the best thing that could happen, actually, is I could switch Lapras in to the Vespiquen lead, um, lead to try and draw the Venusaur out, or the Sudowoodo out, which would make it much easier for Rhyperia in the back. So... Although I'd lose the lead matchup, Venusaur versus Vespiquen. Uh, that might not be the worst thing in the world, because I need Venusaur to beat his Venusaur, really. Um, let's see. Frostlass. That's good. It was a similar thing to the Vespiquen. I've got two counters, so I'll go straight into Lapras. He's staying in. Um, I know he likes a bait, but I think he's got there's too much pressure here, yeah. Um I'm gonna go for the, the surf just so I can get surf damage on him. I think I like he'll, he'll shield this. Um just so I can get him in farming range of my own Venusaur after a few more ice shards. Uh, and I know I have to save the shield now. Uh, for Rhyperia to take on Frostlass. So I'm going to let this through. Obviously I have to go to my own Venusaur. Again, I've got a quite good IV Venusaur and he might have a bit of energy, so I'm not going to win to MP. It doesn't even get that far. And I know the Sludge Bomb isn't going to kill, so I can have a farm a bit. Perhaps it was a mistake on my part, going, um, shielding the Shadow Ball. Um, that shield might have been more useful on Rhyperia. But we'll see. So I'm able to block. Oh, perfect. So I've got a load of energy on Venus, so I don't need to block here. I can just go straight for the Smackdowns. Come on, right, Perry, lad, do him. See what he goes to. If he goes to Frostless, I need to throw. If he goes to Venus, or I need to not. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got too much health. I thought I could get a smack down him. Throw a super power. Oh, flipping heck, yeah. Good job I threw that. So now I've got a shield advantage with Venusaur. So I should be able to finish him off here. This will do a lot of damage if it doesn't kill. And I might just be able to power this, to vine whip him down. No, he's going to get me. Oh, GG's. Okay, so that's 3-2, and I'm going to call it there, because these these rounds are taking about an hour each, and it's really bloody annoying. Uh, so now this, uh, the 6-1 tie isn't on the table, so I'm going to call it there. But yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. A bit different. Um, be interesting. I'll, I'm looking forward to watching this back, actually, to see what my live commentary is like. Uh, it's always a bit different, but we'll see. So yeah, catch you, uh, catch you another time.